Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to add on to our designs that we made using the Autumn in New York collection. So, so far we made, remember this bracelet? I know it was a real challenge, but you know, this is, this is a good challenge because even if you end up, if you, if you know, if it doesn't work and you, you know, it's just a little bit too challenging and you end up taking it apart, you're going to learn so much. So don't give up on it. Keep doing it. And you know, and eventually you'll get it and you'll learn a lot from it. And then we made these earrings, which absolutely are just so much fun and so easy to make and just so pretty on the ear. And then for those of you who wanted, asked me for a bracelet to kind of match these earrings, this is what I came up with. So this is what we're going to work on today. And it is the Abundance Bracelet and it's made using just everything uh, from the collection. So if you have your collection and you haven't um, used all of your chitons yet because it uses all six of them, um, then you can make this or you can grab some from your stash. But this is what the back front looks like. Here's the back. Really, really pretty. Um, you have the clasp if you didn't do the other bracelet. So, uh, or, I mean, very easy piece to make, to just grab for some of your stash beads because they're pretty co common beads. And the only thing that may be a little bit, um, might not have is the Paisley Duo, but I suggest get those Paisley Duos uh, because they're just so pretty when you make them into a piece. All right, so let's get materials that's going. We'll get started on this bracelet. So we're going to do a, an emerald green version version because I ran out of the chitons that I had um, making this one and the, uh, and the earrings. So I just took some, some chitons from my stash and I have this emerald green color and I'm using also this Super Duo is from my stash which is a again an emerald green as well as the bicone. These are from the collection so these are the Paisley Duos, 11 seed beads and these are Miyuki and I love these 11 Tohos because to me, they're like an, a whole other bead. They're not the same as an 11 Miyuki. They're they're almost like rounded delicas or, you know, cylinder beads, but they're 11 But I love them because you, you, they're, they're just like a different size. So you can pop them in like I pop them in over here and they really stand out. So I would suggest you just get a little stash of um, Toho 11 that, you know, that you love and the colors you love and keep them around. 15 o seed bead, some Miyuki. I've got a three millimeter pearl, four millimeter pearl. The only thing I added here were um, a few little jump rings because I did that to make the put the clasp in the orientation I wanted it. Here's a clasp. This one, there's one in the collection. Eight pound fireline black satin. Here's I've got a, just a box of different needles sizes. And here, just to give you a quick look at what the emerald green looks like, isn't that pretty? So this is a great holiday bracelet as well so or you could what if you did um like ruby colors crystals in here and just gorgeous all right so <laughs> i'm gonna clear this off and we'll get started let's get started so thread your needle with about three feet of thread put on a stop bead around the middle so i picked up and dropped down to my stop bead a super duo 11 super duo 11 super duo 11 super duo and an 11 so I have four super duos on, four 11 O's in between. Started with the super duo and I ended with an, an 11 O. I sew these into a circle by sewing through the first bead after my stop bead. So here we go, I'm just gonna go around like this. And I'm just gonna continue all the way around until I've reinforced that, that whole circle. So I've come all the way around, I came past my stop bead, reinforced, and I'm exiting the bottom hole of one of the super duos. Right there, I'm just going to sew through the top hole. Like that. So exiting that super duo, so I've picked up a Paisley duo. Notice how it, how I'm orienting my beads. The 11 Toho and a Paisley duo. And I'm just going to sew through the top hole of the next super duo. That's what it looks like. Next up, I'm going to pick up a super duo, the Toho 11 and a super duo. Exiting the top hole of this super duo, I'm going to go through the top hole of the next one. I'm just going to repeat that. I'm going to put the Paisley duos here and the super duos here. So get that done, come back, and we'll continue down to my last super duo, Toko 11 super duo. I'm going to sew through the top hole of this super duo and then the bottom hole of the Paisley duo. And this is what you have so far. Exiting the bottom hole of this Paisley duo. I just want you to continue on through the 11 the Paisley Duo. I just want to get a, you know, attach this nicely. Then the top hole of this Super Duo and the bottom hole of the next one. 
the 11 -0. The bottom hole of this super duo, top the super duo, top hole of this one, and out this paisley duo. So that was just to kind of close it off. And then you're going to sew through the top hole of the paisley duo we're exiting from. And this is what we have so far. Let's continue. So we're still working with this thread. We'll get to the um, chiton in a minute. You know the other thread. So here we're exiting the paisley duo, the top hole. I'm going to pick up. A three millimeter pearl, and I'm going to pop through this super duo. Then I'm going to pick up a four millimeter pearl. I'm going to go through the next super duo, and then I'm going to pick up a three millimeter pearl. Get it? There we go. I'm going to sew through the top hole of the next paisley duo. Then I'm going to pick up and grab a couple of these. A Toho 11 0, my bicone, and the Toho 11 0. I'm going to sew through the next one like that. And I'm just going to kind of repeat that around. Three millimeter pearl, four millimeter pearl, three millimeter pearl. the Toho 11 the 4mm bicone of the Toho 11 -o. So is that the next one? Like that. And this is the component so far. So I'm just going to leave that thread. We're exiting one of the Paisley duos. And I'm going to take my stop bead off and thread my needle, and I am exiting an interior super duo here. So what I want you to do is sew through that next 11-0. So here we're coming out of here. Sew through this one and the bottom hole of the next super duo. And then the top hole of that super duo and the paisley duo, bottom hole of the paisley duo. So I'm just trying to get to this bead right here. And then through this Toho 11 i We're going to work with those to put our chiton on. Exiting this 11 Toho, I've picked up five of my Miyuki 11 O's, and I'm going to hop over to the next Toho 11 that's in between these two super duos. Right there. And I'm going to pick up five of my Miyuki 11 O's. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm working with these four beads here. So here, five of the Miyuki 11 O's, sewing through that next Toho 11 O. Okay, I'm just going to do that two more times one here and one here. Putting on my last group of five Miyuki's, sewing through that Toho. So we're making the cup for our, or the setting for our chiton. So exiting this. Toho 11 in here. I'm just going to sew through the first five of the Miyuki 11 O's that we put on. We're going to add a Toho 11 O in between each of these groups of five. So exiting here, I'm just going to pick up a Toho 11 O. I'm going to sew through the next five Miyuki's. Like that. Do that again. This is why I love these Toho's because they're they're just they fit in places that you know that you we can't fit anything else. Okay, so exiting here, I'm going to sew, through, picking up the Toho, sewing through the next five. Okay, you can do that two more times. Down to the last Toho, sitting in this Miyuki group of five, going through the last group of five, like that. And then I'm going to sew through the Toho and right through three of the first group of five that we put on. So you want to be exiting number three bead of that group of five. Okay, next I'm going to pick up four 15 O's. We're exiting number three bead of that group of five Miyuki's. We're going to go to number three bead of the next group of five. So I have my four 15 O's and you're just going to 
sew through that bead number three with the next group like that and then at this point you can pop your stone just let it sit in there so you can do that all the way around so you're going to pick up four 15 o's exiting the middle that number three bead of that group of five you're going to go through number three bead of the next group of five like this and don't worry if it doesn't stay you're just going to end up kind of holding it okay then you're going to do that two more times and then we'll continue my last group of four, so exiting number three bead of that group of five, so I'm through the, that last group of that la third bead of that last group of five, and then you're just going to get a little pull inward like that. Then you want to reinforce all the way around, so you're going to go through just your 15 O's. So I'm going through the next four 15 O's. I'm going to skip the 11 O, and I'm going to sew through the next four 15 O's. And you're just going to do that all the way around to tighten it up really nicely and it just makes it sit so nicely when you do that. Reinforced all the way around I just went through the the 415 so after I get it all done I'm just I'm exiting a group of 415 O's I'm just gonna sew through the 11 O so an 11 O on the side there and then these two two more 11 O's right here so you'll be exiting this the, this group right here on the side now I left the outside loose because I just want to make sure everything is fitting nicely and we'll sew that thread in in a minute. So here we are, we've reinforced, we've come through this 11 -0, this 11 -0, and then this one. Let's continue embellishing a little bit. So I'm going to pick up my Toho 11 -0, a 15 -0 Miyuki and a Toho 11 -0. Next thing, right here, I'm just going to skip this guy, I'm going to sew through these three right here. That's going to place those on just like that. And do you see how it's so, it looks so different? It looks a totally different bead um, from the other 11 O's. So I'm, then I'm going, so I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew down th through these two right here. And then I'm going to repeat what I just did. Let me grab pull these over here. Toho 11 O, Yuki 15 O, and Toho 11 O. And you might have to call those Tohos a little bit. So like if they're real, it's a real wonky one, put it aside. You can always use that for bead embroidery or, you know, some free form stuff. So here we go. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through these three. And then down these two. Like that. And I'm just going to repeat that two more times. Last group, Toho 15 Toho 11 0 15 0. And then here, I'm going to sew through these here, just to add that last group on, so just like that. And then you just want to sew through these beads and tie off this thread because your, your um, bezel is finished, so you've got your chiton in. And what you can do with the other thread now um, is just sew around and do a couple of half hitch knots. I just wanted to leave that loose so that your tension is nice, is good and it, it's going to sit nicely. All right, so sew those, both those threads in and come back and we'll start another unit. Here's our unit. So this is going to be one end of our bracelet. Now, when we put the next unit on, we're going to connect using these beads. So I'm going to give you a little time stamp and you're going to go back to where we started, right? Where you just started this unit. And I want you to get to this point where we have all the, the um, super duos and the paisley duos on. We're exiting the top hole of a paisley duo because we're going to embellish around and we're going to connect here and then we're going to do then you'll do the chaton. So this is where I am now on the second unit. So I'm going to pick up so I'm exiting the top hole of my paisley duo. I'm going to pick up my three millimeter pearl and I'm going to sew through the super duo and pick up my four millimeter pearl and so on. Sew through this one. And then my three millimeter pearl. I'm going to sew through the Paisley Duo. So I'm embellishing just like we did before, only I'm going to use this part to connect here. Okay, so continuing on, I'm taking my Toho, my four millimeter bicone and a Toho. I'm going to sew through this one, the next um, Paisley Duo, then my three millimeter pearl. This, this one, and then my four millimeter pearl. Right 
right here. And then the three right here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And it's, you know, that's just the thread that's going to put into the chaton. So I'm gonna connect right here. So all I'm gonna do, exiting the paisley tool, I'm gonna to sew through the these three beads on the side, just like that. So the toho, the four millimeter bicone and the toho. Like that. And then down through the beads on this side. And there is my connection, just like that. So at this point, you can sew this thread in, or you can leave it and sew it in later. And you're going to do your chiton right here. So, you know, you're going to move this thread to the the Toho 11 and you're going to do all your connections. So I'll put time stamp, stamps where we do each one of those. And that's how you're going to connect each unit. So you're going to do as many units as you need. I did six units. I used all six of my chatons and it gave me around a seven inch bracelet, but you can adjust um, if you have a larger wrist or a smaller wrist and you can adjust at the ends where we put the clasp on to make it a little longer or shorter, whatever works right for you. So get all your units done and connected and then we will put the clasp on. Okay, let's prepare for the clasp. So what I did with this clasp is I added a jump ring right here because I wanted to be able to go through this way. So just, you know, go through your stash and find yourself a little jump ring. And I did it on both ends, the ring end and the toggle bar. Just makes it easy to put the clasp on the way I want to put it on. Jump rings are on my clasp. It's situated the way I want it to be. And here is where if you need to do a, a, just a little bit of an extension and not a whole unit, you can add more seed beads. So you see how I just kind of did this little um, design here. You can add another seed bead in between. And this extended it just enough uh, on both ends for me to, for it to fit my wrist perfectly without adding another one of these. I didn't need another one of these. And on the, the, the toggle bar end, I just extended, you can extend this, make this even longer here um, if you want, if you need just a little bit more length. All right, so let's get started. Okay, we're going to do the, um, the ring end right now. So here's my clasp. So you want to thread your, you know, thread your needle with, I don't know, about a foot, a foot and a half of thread. Um, I'm going to add the clasp separately. So you're just going to, you're just going to add a thread and you're going to come out the bottom or top, doesn't matter, of this, um, the 11 Toho, the four millimeter bicone 11 Toho at the end of your last unit. I'm going to pick up, I've picked up another Toho, a three millimeter pearl and two more 11 toe hose and I'm going to sew through the ring on the clasp. Now this ring is the one I added, I think it was that three or four millimeter. Okay, so I've sewn through, I have the toe hose, the three millimeter pearl to the toe hose, went through the ring, two more toe hose, pearl, so two toe hose, a pearl, and one more toe hose, 11 -0. I'm going to sew through the other side, like that, come down those three beads. And this is what I have so far. So I'm exiting this bead right here. I'm gonna sew through the next Toho 11 -0. I'm gonna skip the pearl, which is just gonna make it pop out a little bit. And I'm gonna sew through the next four 11 -0 Tohos. So through the ring, through the two Tohos, through the ring, the other two, give that a little pull and see how it just pops out a little bit. And then I'm going to skip this pearl. I'm going to sew through the next toho. You know, giving a little pull to pull it inward. And then these three again. And then when I pull it, it kind of gives me this, you know, it makes the pearls pop out a little bit. So at this point, you can reinforce or give a little pull so they pop out and you can reinforce again and then sew your thread your thread at the toggle bar. So I just did the same thing, added a thread. You know, my tail was over here, I sewed it in, came through here. I put on an 11 -0 Toho, the three millimeter pearl, four 11 -0 Tohos. I went through the ring, four 11 -0 Tohos, the 
three millimeter pearl and the 11 0 Toho. And I'm going to sew through these three. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm losing my voice a little bit for some reason, but it's coming back. So <laughs> I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to skip the pearl and I'm going to sew through the four Toho's, the ring, the four Toho's on this side. And you want to give that a little pull so your pearl pops out like that. And I'm going down through the ones on the other side, skipping the pearl, sewing through this one, make sure it pops out, and then back down through these three. Like that. Make sure that your ring is sitting on the beads, not on thread. Now I'm just going to sew a couple of these these beads together at the top, you know, to to get that little look there. I mean, you could probably leave it this way too. All right, so exiting here, I'm going to sew through the next 11 out. They can go right through the pearl at this point and through the next two, my needle in there, 11 O's, like that. Now I'm just going to go right across and I'm going to sew down through the two 11 O's that are above this pearl. So here going through this one and this one. So it'll just be like coming across like that. And then when I give it a pull, do you see how it kind of pulls that in? Then I'm going to go through the pearl and the 11 out like that. And then through these three again, like that. And you're just going to kind of you can actually reinforce that if you want to bring it in a little tighter, but that's going to give you that little end there that's going to surround your the um, ring on your toggle bar. Okay, we're back and we're done, and look how pretty they look. I love the soft sort of fall colors in this one, and this one is a little more intense, but I just think it's so pretty for the holidays. Here are the earrings. Here's the other bracelet that we made. So here we're moving right along. We've got three different um, uh, projects that you can make using the beads from the collection or the beads from your stash. But more to come. All right, so I want to thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.